Good morning. Voila. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh no. What is it? Oh, it's beautiful. Peter Kudu. There's also on our right side an okapi. Now at the first glance, the okapi looks a lot like a zebra with the stripes on its legs. But it turns out they're one of the only known relatives of the giraffe. You might have saw its tongue stick out a second ago there. It's trying to stick out. But their tongues are very similar to that of the giraffe. Um, they don't have a lot of hair to protect their skin from the sun, so usually they don't do this too often. But fully grown head, what you can see, weighs about 5,500 pounds. They're definitely one of the largest animals that we'll see. As there's a whole blow of hippos to the left in the water you'll see next to the island. Dazzle. That might be because of their camouflage. When they stand very close together, it's hard to tell where one zebra starts and then one zebra ends. Really close to us. You'll see she's sticking out her tongue. Hi, so a giraffe's tongue is about 18 inches long, which would be as long as her arm. And it's long enough that a giraffe could lick their own eye. I personally have never seen them do that, though I have seen them pick their nose or their tongue. That's definitely more of a common thing that these giraffes out here will do. Well, they don't have fingers, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Bye, but, honey. You know, See you later. We'll pass by. We're seeing a few more of the giraffes. These are all Maasai giraffes. Uh, they some colorful faces and backs, which Hi, uh, as they get excited, those colors will be even brighter. Oh, but there's a pair of elephants. So I would imagine, this, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is a mother and daughter pair. So as female elephants, they form herds to help raise their young. While male elephants, they live in either on their own or they'll form small bachelor herds, which is the male elephants. She's just eating. Yeah, these elephants are probably best known for those trunks, which if we think about it, five feet tall. And of course, Fling ah! is probably best known for being pink, but when they hatch from an egg, they're not pink at all, they are gray. So oh. if you really look closely, you'll notice some younger flamingo that are gray and white. It's a zookeeper so in the wild. as flamingos eat shrimp, the wild. They, the brine shrimp have a lot of beta carotene in it. It's that beta carotene in the shrimp that eventually turns their feathers and legs pink, but that takes time. It can take about two to three years. And perhaps my favorite name for a group of animals besides the dazzle of zebra, when you see a group of flamingo gathered around like that, we can refer to them as a flamboyant. A flam Cheetahs are probably best known for their speeds. They go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 3 seconds. Sort of. But their fastest speed is about 70, 75 miles an hour. The tree is blocking me. But they will only be able to sustain their speeds for usually a few hundred yards or so. So if they're not running, they are typically laying down to conserve their energy for their next hunt. So everything about these cheetahs is going to help them be fast and hunt during the day. Around their eyes, you'll see what look like tear marks that will keep the sunlight out. And then they have non-retractable claws to help them grip the ground, but also... So they're the ones that will go out and hunt and bring back food for the cubs. Well, there's also, you might can barely see the male lion's mane. So the male lion, he's going to stay at home with the cubs and watch over them. He's basically a stay-at-home dad watching over the kids when they get home. Like a young child. Um, but this is very common for lions during the daytime, but at nighttime, they're more active. They'll use the cover darkest to hide. We are here for the... That's for the Lion King. Magical celebration.
So we just finished the Lion King show, and it was good. Singers are pretty good. Peace. And the puppets are good. Uh, it's nice to have live performance again. There was one thing that was really exciting. There's like a fire dancing with the baton. And I, all I could think of was our drum majors. They should dance with fire. Uh. <laughs> so this is a 50th celebration colossal cinnamon roll. It has caramel and this blue icing. And then this is a guava Danish cream cheese Danish. Yeah, he is. That's why we're going here. We're at Harambe Market. We got a chicken bowl. You still have so sugar on your face. And I got a ribs bowl. And we got a salad. giving out these little uh, turtles for little kids to parade with and my brother wants me to go but I have too much societal shame turtles they're so cute
they just leave, they just leave Simba there after he crashes. We have a troll sighting. A troll sighting. Try to bite. Tigre. 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 Bye. Big burb. <laughs> Another big burb. Hey there.
I kind of don't understand how this fountain works. I want one, but I also don't want one because we're going to get more later. It's cut. Disney animators have put their pencils to paper in service of the idea. And today we are going to be drawing the That's villainous, fine. the evil Scar! Hey. Hey. Yes, we love Scar. Me. Woo. Awesome, a couple of you. Fantastic. Well, you're technically not supposed to love him. No, I love him. Really jagged cheekbones, just very lightly. Every now it looks like short skins. Besides, we're doing it lightly. Because ready to fly off to California and start a career in animation just Oops. for one drawing star, but... <laughs> So we finished all of our drawings. The animator was super nice and gave him one. And yep, we had fun. Drew some. I haven't finished my Bruce yet, but we're pretty close. Look at our Brucies. Bruce is the best. Your his Bruce is the best, but it's also printed. No, it's not. I worked very hard for that. Liar! Liar! It's not even the same size paper. <laughs> We are leaving Magic Animal Kingdom. The magic is real.